Back then, Cameron, it was a little different, only because you didn't need a college education to make your way in the world. You could go to, there were plenty and plenty of places you can go to where you could work 30 years and get a pension. General Motors, Ford, Revlon, all those companies aren't there anymore. They're all gone. And I knew what I wanted to do at that time. I was working for a tire company, and I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to open my own business some point in time, and that uh, the tire business would get me, get me there. There were more opportunities then than there are now. You have one opportunity now. Go to college and make your way. Back then, you didn't need college, even though it was great to go. You didn't need college to further your career. You could be successful without that. Yeah. It was just the camaraderie of growing up there. The, the friendships that I've made, I still have today. I still have. I still see the people I saw 50 years ago. I still see today. Uh, Glenn I was just talking about he, we grew up together in the same neighborhood your dad knows him I have a good friend of mine Eugene Kabuski we grew up with in South Amboy graduated uh, he went into the service he moved out of South Amboy in the early 70s and he still calls me once a week and you know it's just a good thing it's just friendships I don't think I would have anywhere else if it wasn't for South Amboy DuPont's employed a lot of people from Cerville and South Amboy. It was the blood and guts of, if you wanted to go to work at DuPont's, you could work there for 25 years, come out with a good pension, a good hourly wage, you could raise a family. Hercules was a big factory in the area of Cerville, South Amboy, South River that used to employ a lot of people. They went out of business and thousands of people lost their job. Just like in the 80s and 90s, they had the downsizing of all the businesses. Uh, corporate businesses or corporations basically, you know, conglomerates started to form then. Corporations started to buy smaller businesses out, and conglomerates started to form. Jersey Central Power and Light in South Amboy, that employed... Not every from not every, all the people from South Amboy, but a good portion, probably you know two or three or four percent of the population of South Amboy worked at Jersey Central, and more at Dupont. 